Okay, I have a bi spinner here that seems promising. It's called the Arrow by Aesthetics. Um, it's a little weighted bi spinner, <clears throat> which seems, I play with it a little bit, it seems pretty good. I was kind of disappointed by some of the recent bi spinners that I reviewed. This one's weighted at the ends. It doesn't feel really heavy, but it's got some weight to it. And it comes with an extra bearing which looks like a 10 ball stainless steel R188 and it feels pretty good and it feels kind of smooth so I'm kind of hoping this one's gonna work out unlike some of the other recent ones I've done so this is gonna be the next one I test it's called the Arrow by Aesthetics and they've got a little card here and a diagram alright we'll test it out next Okay, I got done testing the uh, Aero Spinner by Aesthetics, and I included one blooper in there where uh, the uh, spinner flew out of the rig that I was using. Um, what happened there was that the uh, retaining ring, the bearing retaining ring, came loose and came out and seized up on the buttons, so the buttons froze and the spinner went flying. No harm done, that happens all the time. Um, and there's no damage to the spinner. It continued spinning just fine. Um, I did want to mention though, I just in case you've been wondering, I do uh, wear protection when I'm, when I'm spinning these things. I wear this uh, full face shield every time I spin these things. It wouldn't be too much, it wouldn't be much damage if it hits me somewhere else. I mean, it's, it, you might get a little scratch or bruise, but uh, they're spinning these things up with an air hose. There, there, there is a risk of losing a tooth or losing an eye, either of which would be catastrophic. So uh, I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing without at least wearing a full face shield. So I'm protected in case those kind of things happen. And uh, it happened on this with the aesthetics here. But uh, it, uh, this turned out to be a really nice spinner. Um, I'm really happy with it. It got an average spin duration of seven minutes and 31 seconds, which is, it gives it the highest score I give, which is a 10 for a spin duration. Um, it just went on and on for something that weighs, it weighs up, it weighs 71 grams. It's not really heavy, but uh, for something that weight to go that long is really impressive. On the uh, appearance, I gave it an eight. It's got a very nice design to it it looks good on the feel I gave it an 8.5 it does feel really good there's a for a bi spinner it works really nicely and perceived quality I gave it an 8.5 also because it's well made uh, the website for aesthetics says that this has a uh, silicon nitride hybrid bearing in it so it's not a steel a stainless steel ball ball a ball bearing but uh, it did very well anyway. So, variability, not very much, 32 seconds, and they got an overall score of 8.6, which qualifies it as easily in a, a superior spinner. So this one's a winner, and uh, I got the buttons coming loose again, okay. So this one on their website, and what I did to get to their website, I, I googled uh, aesthetics, with an A, A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C-S. -E -E um, and then I, I Googled that plus arrow plus spinner and it gave me their website. This is the only product they have, this one fidget spinner and they're selling it for $48.86. And I would watch out how you buy this one because I saw it on eBay selling for, I think it was uh, something like $75. 
on the website it's 4886 which is a reasonable price but it uh, looks like some people are trying to sell it on eBay for more than their website is selling it for so watch out on the price you should get this one for under fifty dollars <clears throat> definitely highly recommended big thumbs up on the arrow by spinner